Hi, this is Melissa, the Free Range Psychic. This is my second YouTube video. I made one last night. And uh, actually, I think the lighting is, is better at night. <laughs> it's a little, it looks a little hazy, but I'm going to learn the tricks of the YouTube, um, how, to, how to do a good YouTube video. So it's, gonna take, it's a learning curve. It's going to take me some time. So please bear with me. Um, well, this video... I decided with my guides, because I, I think I said in the first video, I know I did that I'm, um, I collaborate with my guides before I do these, and I did with this one, that I was going to try my hand at a political reading. Now, I'm always nervous doing that because either it's going to come true or it's not, or maybe there's somewhere in between. But hey, you know, it's like a scientific experiment. Maybe some of them come true, maybe some of them don't. So um, this reading is going to be on the Mueller report and um, what is Trump's reaction and what is the result. And I just did a really simple uh, Celtic cross. So I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see these cards. I tried to do them kind of upside down so that um, they looked right way up to you. Um, so the very first card that my and I want to explain that um, this particular method, uh, I don't shuffle the cards. I just ask my spirit guides what card goes where. They tell me, and then I, I fish them out. But they actually specifically tell me. And you know, sometimes when I do readings for people, um, oftentimes a card will come into my head. They'll give me a card, um, a tarot card uh, that, that I'll see, and then I'll, I'll tell the person what I saw, what card that was. So um, my guides pick these cards. Um, so the tower in the center position, this is a Mueller report, but it also has some other significance. Um, and the tower, it's, it can't help but not remind me of, uh, Notre Dame, that spire. <laughs> um, so the immediate past is the three of pentacles. Um, so this card they, they told, told me was, um, the conspiracy uh, and the, of the cover-up between Barr, Trump, and Giuliani, actually, uh, trying to figure out, you know, what the spin's going to be. This was a, it took a lot of preparation. There's a lot of thought that was put into this. Um, and uh kind of looks like these pentacles are spinning a little bit <laughs> up in the air. What's going to work? What, what's the illusion going to be? You know, what, what approach are we going to take? And, they're, you know, they, these are being forged in a fire, which is imagination, creativity. Um, so this is the uh, act of the conspiracy or the, um, you, you can call it obstruction too, but how, how are we going to spin this? Um, and then they, they brought my attention to the, the tower um, and they wanted to show me that here's a fire um, and here's a fire. So they're connected. The, the 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 fire that they're uh, they're um, forging here is not enough to put out this fire. This fire is overwhelming. The fire of the Mueller report, the damning nature of it, it it is it cannot be put out. It's just going to burn the whole thing down. It's a conflagration. There's just no way. So the conspiracies here or the uh, uh, obstructionists are these characters that are falling out of the tower because it's on fire and they. They cannot withstand it, the, the flame. It is all consuming. Um, so um, on the top is, um, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to, I meant this to be the top for you. Um, the, the Five of Pentacles. So that's an interesting card. And what they brought my attention to is the light shining on this pentacle. Um, that one. And what they, they told me this uh, um, represent was Deutsche Bank and the hidden money and, and the, all, all the affairs can, um, uh, tied into the, um, the money uh, aspect of things, the hidden money, the laundered money, the stolen money, uh, the fraudulent um, accounting of money. And uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to ask when I ask my guides, I, I, I use my pendulum. 
um, just to make sure to uh, to open up that channel. So I'm going to ask them because I think they said also to do with um, money stolen from the actual treasury itself. There's, there's been so much theft. Um, yeah, and so that's at the top of the um, the reading, and it's what is is really putting the kibosh on every uh, on, on, on the Trump administration. Um, feeding the fire of this investigation. Um, and I, I imagine this is the, the, the Democrats the, or the, 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 the House uh, really looking into this aspect of things. So at the bottom is the Ten of Swords. And uh, so uh, basically my guides are telling me that Trump is just freaking out. He's freaking out right now. He's a wild man. He cannot handle, um, as we know, because he said in the report when he said, I'm totally screwed. Um, he, he can't handle uh, this kind of thing at all. He's got no tolerance for um, uh, potential of, of whatever it is, whether, well, I don't know what he imagines, whether he's going to go to jail or whether he's, um, you know, uh, going to have his money taken away or whatever, but he is absolutely uh, unmanageable unmanageable and he is throwing things breaking things yelling i see him yelling at melania she's there everybody's looking at melania melania can you control him and she's she's really you know getting the brunt of it and she's you know just trying to do the best she can to calm this person down um and uh it, it, it's like putting um they're, they're telling my guys are telling me it's like putting um what water on uh uh, on, on oil or whatever, um, adding fuel to the fire, and she's just she's been there before. <laughs> it's not the, her first uh, her first time seeing you know seeing her husband like this, but um, it's truly a crazy scene. It's uh, um, and uh, you know no nobody really knows what to do. Um, uh, never just telling him to watch Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> they want you know want the Fox people to call him and calm him down, but they're you know he's terrified. Um, he's a trapped, a wild beast um, with no way out. That, that's really how he feels. Um, although he's going to do his best to spin it and you know to control the narrative and to get his way out of this, but he is yeah he's terrified. So in the future, what is that card? Justice. Not just Mueller, but um, I, and and I, I again, this is a risk, and I admire the other tarot readers when they they take that risk. So I should take that risk, and I may be wrong, but what I am hearing is impeachment. There will be impeachment, um, whether it's successful or not. Let me see. They're telling me that they they, they there will be impeachment proceedings, but that. Something's going to shorten his presidency so the impeachment never fully reaches its end with him in part as a participant or as a you know a focus of it because I think now they've been telling me this for several years and I don't know whether this is I'm hearing it correctly my guides are always right but I you know I hear them perfectly sometimes but that there's some kind of um, that Trump I hate saying this, but that he may not physically make it to the end of his presidency, that there may be an end to his, uh, he'll make his, trans his transition, I should say, but there may be a physical end. Um, and um, I know, I, I think I said something about it when, when I was on Linda's show, but m m to do with or related to a massive um, heart attack. And I, I have heard this for um, a long time, um, or at least, you know, for the duration of his presidency, um, that that did I start hearing? Well, anyway, I, I I know that they brought it to my attention at least within the last year that that Trump has um, heart uh, articular sclerosis is at it, hardening of the arteries, and um, he uh, he should really have some stunts put in. You know, the, his uh, he should have probably quadruple bypass or something. But that, that's um, and that's part of what's leading to his dementia um, bad 
<laughs> and the you know the uh, Adderall use, uh, the um, uh, yeah, the rampant use of um, and amphetamine. So that's it's not helping him or his blood pressure, but I, I see that uh, he has some um, hardening of the arteries. So, but whatever happens, I, I, I think we're going to see the beginning of impeachment proceedings. However, and and it, and he may make it to the end. He may, um, it may all pan out that way. But uh, right now, I know I, I watched uh, Joy Reid this morning, and her reviews <laughs> also freaking out. Why aren't the Democrats impeaching him and this and that? But you know, uh. I'm back here. Uh, the Democrats, I think they know what they're doing. Uh, I I kind of cringe at uh, some things I'm hearing, even on MSNBC. All the Democrats, they won't do anything. No, that that's not what's happening. I don't. I, and my guides are telling me that they're um, they're they're doing it in 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 such a way so that it it, it can be successful, and they. I have been saying this from the beginning. They do want to interview Mueller and um, Don McGahn and, and and people like that, and they want to uh, to do it in a proper way so that. And I think it's Nadler who is uh, saying this, as well. Besides Pelosi, they they need they need to have everything in order to make that happen. And you know, yeah, we may all want to kind of get a posse together and have a tar and feather, and you know, the, our gut reaction is, let's do it now. Like we all wanted the the uh, Mueller's report out. I did not want that report. Not that you were wrong or whoever in wanting it out. I mean, we all wanted to see it, but I, I, and I, I believe, I do believe my guides did tell me that um, Mueller was not ready um, to put that report out. They were funded until September of this year and he wanted to use all that time and he needed all that time but he knew you know how things were going to go and so he that's why he um uh made sure all these investigations were, were um delegated out to to various um justice departments so that they could um continue and i did not i knew that he needed that time he, he, we really even though we we are impatient um, for it. We need patience. We need to really um, uh, uh, develop or um, uh, acquire patience for this process uh, because all of this, uh, the, the timing is really important. May not be quite in our own emotional time, but in terms of legal time or um, the time it takes to really get all this um, uh, happening, especially because we uh, we have the House, but uh, as Democrats, but we don't have the Senate, and um, things need to play out. And so I, my guides, I'm gonna ask. Uh, sometimes I, is this me or is it my guides? So let me just ask. Yes, patience. If I I, I can uh, give you a takeaway at all from this reading, we need to have patience um, with this process because the they know what they're doing. Pelosi knows what she's doing. Nadler knows what he's doing. They've been thinking about this, and Mueller knows what he's doing, and and he, um, even though people wanted Mueller to um, uh, make that decision regarding criminal action, he, I don't think he he really could in terms of how it would have played out. Um, and my guides are saying, yeah, he, it needed to be this way, and because of uh, he, he he the whole political process has to kick in. That's how it was created by our, our founding. Um, I want to say, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say fathers, it sounds so <laughs> patriarchal, but it was our founding fathers at that time. And I'm sure their female companions in the background at that time had a lot to do with um, uh, their thinking too. But uh, yeah, how, how, the, how the people who wrote our constitution and created our government, yeah. How uh, you know intended it, and, and this is just a democratic process. Um, so let me see if there's anything else. This, and, and I, I want to say that um, Linda G and uh, a lot of the other psychics too have said it will it will be okay in the end. You know, we'll we'll see justice, which. I believe um, it's a process, and you know, 
our foundation wasn't so great before Trump came in that the, uh, our, our um, what 30 years of the um, uh, was it the Her American Heritage Foundation and um, uh, uh, there were there were there was so much corruption and plotting by um, uh, you know the uh, people like Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell and um, oh God you know Cheney and the, the, it's been years and years leading up to this and also um, you know collusion with Russia wasn't just happening now it's Russia's been actively as far as what I've read it's been actively trying to corrupt our government for forever. And uh, they just happened to find um, people who were uh, willing to um, trade um, their uh, patriotism for uh, power or for for money or were vulnerable to blackmail, what whatever. So this is my reading. We'll see if we'll, we'll see if uh, it, it, it comes about. Um, and uh, I uh, enjoyed that, and I'll. I want to do more. So I do personal readings. I have a uh, business called Sacred Fire Psychic Readings and um, a Facebook page that you can message me through. And you can also call me on my um, business number for Sacred Fire, 734-773-9758. I do um, past life readings, present, future. I just talk to my spirit guides and I tell you what I hear or what I think I hear and uh, I'll be happy to do a reading for you so and if you can hear it's been raining all day but it's a beautiful sound it's a really lovely sound I don't mind it I, I guess we haven't had as much rain in here and I'm in Michigan as uh, people have had in other parts of the country so we need it for our spring flowers uh, Happy Easter to everybody who celebrates Easter. Happy Passover to everybody who celebrates Passover and happy spring to all of us. We all celebrate spring. <laughs> or to everybody who celebrates spring. And happy chocolate uh, to all of you who love Easter candy. Like I do. <laughs> um, this is Melissa, Free Range Psychic. And uh, I will talk to you again. Have a, have a beautiful weekend.